branding is the most important part of any organization's identity. Your logos, colors determines just who you are and what you do in today's world. A carefully created logo, pristine and complementary colors, and of course, the right font of text. And maintaining a consistent look across all your videos and platforms is a must today. That's why Animaker has brought out its very own brand kit. A one-stop place where you can upload all of your brand essentials. You can pick and use them with just a click of a button. This way, all your videos can look in line with your brand guidelines every single time. So let's look at all the features available in Animaker's brand kit and how it can help you create jaw-dropping videos with precision and ease. Welcome to the Animaker brand kit. Now we're going to customize this for an example, let's just say a brand we all know and use quite well. And that's going to be Spotify. Spotify has a broad set of guidelines that it and its partners will have to follow if they want to represent the Spotify brand. Odds are, you and your organization also have a robust set of guidelines that you would like people to follow. Today we'll show you how easy it is to have all of these integral parts of your brand guidelines saved and ready to use inside Animaker's brand kit. Now let's add a few of these brand elements to the brand kit and we're going to see how easy it is to use it inside the application. Now first thing of course is the brand logo. And to add your logo you just have to click right here and if you have any of the logos you can just do that. Just keep in mind that your image should be at an SVG, a JPG or a PNG image to be uploaded as a logo. And we are very aware that a lot of brands have multiple logos and you can probably use whichever one that you'd like. So we allow you to add a bunch of logos, not just one. So all you have to do to add a second logo is just click on this and you can add another logo as well. Awesome. Now let's see how this looks inside the application. As we can see, this is the application. So inside the app, you'll be able to find the logos all the way down into properties. And there you go. You can see that the two logos are nice and ready to use right here. You guys can use whichever one you'd like. So let's just say I'm going to use this. And if you'd like, you can just move the logo to whichever side you'd like to start off your video. And there you go. You can easily add your logos and start creating them with just the click of a button. Next up, we have the brand colors. All you have to do to add a brand color is just come down here and you have a ton of different options. So uh, just enter the hex code of the color that you'd like. And once you have it, just click on enter. Now, if you have multiple colors that you'd be using, you can just keep adding more and more colors that you'd like. So I'm going to add a pure white to this. I'm also going to add black. You can also change the name of your color palette if you want to. So I'm just going to name this one primary. And you'll have your color palette now sorted by name as well. So let's bring out something which is close to music. So I'm just going to click on these. And as you can see, if you click right here, you will see the brand palette right here. So you can just click and all of your properties, text, characters, everything can be easily adjusted to fit your brand color. So we're just going to leave a few of these right here. looks good. Just generic music notes. The third part are of course the fonts. Now to change the default font that you will be using, you just have to come over here and click on the little pencil icon. You can set it to whichever font you'd like. We have a ton of different fonts that you could 
choose to use or of course you can upload your own font in a ttf format so i'm just going to use the one set i have here now once they're all set let's see how they look inside you can find the fonts right here in the text section now if i click on any of these you'll notice that automatically the font comes in with the style that we want and not just the first font all of them as well and the third one as well you can also just click on this little drop down and you will find all of your brand fonts are ready to go right here so if you'd like to change all of them to the same font you can do that with just a click of a button as well just going to quickly do that perfect next thing up is the brand characters so Animaker lets you create a bunch of different characters using its character builder but you can save some of them as a brand character. So we're just going to do that right now. Let's go and create a brand character. Let's make an edit and let's name it something. Just hit save. Hit this. Just keep in mind that if you don't hit this tick box, the character will still be saved but as a normal custom character. And your character should now be ready to use. You can see that this character comes in right here and you can remove the character whenever you like. Inside the application, you can just head on over to your characters, select the character you'd like. And of course, you can add any of the brand kit colors that you'd like. And let's just get an action as well. I'd like to add a consistent intro or outro to your videos, like say a small screen with your logo. You can do that easily using the Animaker's brand kit. Simply come down to the intro and outro video section and you can upload your own intro or outro video. And you'll be able to use it once it's inside your system. Inside Animaker, you can find your outro video all the way in the Uploads tab. Simply click on this, click on the branding folder, and here you can find the brand video. Simply double click on that, and you have a nice little outro video right here. Now that we have the entire video ready, let's see how it looks. Perfect. Now if you like how your entire video looks and you would like to save this as a sort of template so that you can use it later. You can do that by just hitting this right here and of course just hitting save as template. It's going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to save all of these scenes as your own brand template. And now as you can see the brand kit is updated and right at the bottom we have our brand template. So the next time you want to make any of your videos you'll be able to use this. Keep in mind that all the assets in the brand kit can only be added or removed by admin users but every single person including all members will have access to all of your brand kit, logos, colors, everything. And that is how Animaker will let you standardize and create amazing brand videos using our brand kit.